वेलकम टू नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन मोर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन ट्रांजियंट रिस्पॉन्स एनालिसिस सो यू सी हियर वी हैव बीन गिवन विथ क्वेश्चन इन दैट दिस विच के दैट इज गेटिंग ऑन एट टी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड एट टी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो इट हैज बीन गिवन दैट कैपेसिटर वोल्टेज इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट सो हियर वी हैव कैपेसिटर that is having voltage 0.5 voltage at t is equals to 0 right and we are dealing with to find v2t which is expression of voltage across this two terminal so here you see whenever you have been given with transient response you'll have to see how we can apply cases so first case that is already given to us that is initial voltage across capacitor means before switch is on voltage across capacitor that is already given at t is equals to 0 voltage across capacitor is 0.5 voltage across this so i just need to identify second case that is what what will happen after switch is on so let us consider this case where switch is on at t is equals to 0 now you see this switch is on so i need to turn it on right at t is equals to 0 now when this switch is on our agenda is to identify v2 that is happening in between this two terminal so i can say here at this terminal voltage is v2 now to identify expression of v2 i can apply nodal analysis at this node so to apply nodal analysis we should be considering current direction as per our wish you can consider that randomly later on we should be placing value of current with respect to direction so let us consider current in this branch is i1 in this branch it is i2 and in this branch it is i3 so let us apply nodal analysis over here so applying nodal analysis we can say that entering current is equals to leaving current at this node v2 so entering current is 0 and leaving current is i1 i2 and i3 so i can say i1 plus i2 plus i3 that is equals to 0 now the what is the value of i1 so i1 is voltage difference across this 1 ohm resistance divided by 1 ohm resistance so voltage difference across 1 ohm resistance is how much tail voltage minus head voltage tail voltage is v2 head voltage is e to the power minus t so that is v2 minus e to the power minus t divided by resistance that is of 1 ohm plus the value of i2 so i2 that is current passing through capacitor so current passing through capacitor that is c dv by dt where v is voltage across capacitor so here i2 that is c c is 1 faraday so 1 into dv by dt where voltage across this capacitor is tail voltage minus head voltage right so here that is ground so v2 that is voltage across capacitor so that i need to say plus now i3 that is voltage across this resistance divided by value of this resistance voltage across this resistance that is v2 and resistance is 0.5 so i3 is v2 divided by 0.5 and that is equals to 0 let us simplify this further so here this is v2 minus e to the power minus t plus dv2 by dt plus 1 divided by 0.5 that is 2 v2 is equals to 0 let us simplify this further so dv2 by dt and now you see 2v2 plus v2 so that is that is making it to 3v2 and this term that will go on other side so that is e to the power minus t right now we need to solve this equation so one should know the basic solution of differential equation where if this equation that is given in form of dv2 by dt plus pv2 is equals to q then solution is
e to the power minus pt integration q e to the power plus pt dt plus constant k into e to the power minus pt. See, this is the solution of this differential equation. So here you can clearly observe that value of p that is 3 and value of q that is e to the power minus t. So let us substitute this in this equation so that we can have a value of v2. Now you see I have placed p is equals to 3 and q is equals to e to the power minus t in this equation right and we will be having v2. Now for further simplification you see this will be e to the power minus t into e to the power plus 3t that is e to the power 2t dt plus k into e to the power minus 3t. Now let us simplify this further. So v2 is equals to e to the power minus 3t and integration of e to the power 2t that is e to the power 2t by 2 plus constant k into e to the power minus 3t. Now this will make it to v2 that is e to the power minus 3t into e to the power 2t. So that is e to the power minus t by 2 plus constant k into e to the power minus 3t. Right. So now we have this v2 but here we have constant k. So our, our agenda is to identify constant k and that we always calculate based on initial conditions. So if you observe initial condition is already given at t is equals to 0 capacitor voltage is 0 0.5 now capacitor voltage is v2 only right you see capacitor voltage that is happening across this capacitor and that is v2 only right so i can say at t is equals to 0 v2 is equals to 0 0.5 and that will give us value of constant right so here at t is equals to 0 we have v2 is equals to vc and that is 0 0.5 so that will give value of constant so you see v2 that is 0 0.5 that is equals to e to the power 0 by 2 plus constant k into e to the power 0 now that will gives us 0 0.5 is equals to 0 0.5 plus constant k so we can say that k is equals to 0 from this so as k is 0 what will be the exact solution we can say exact solution that will be k is 0 in this equation so i can say v2 is equals to e to the power minus t divided by 2 and this is what solution that is there for t greater than or equal to 0 right so whenever you have transient response questions at the time you should bisect situation in terms of time frame after that you should place zero initial condition means at that exact moment how much value is there that you will have to place and that will result into solution of equations so every time you should follow this process and to make sure your calculation is exact you will have to practice at least five six examples so that you can easily solve this type of questions so here in my playlist of network theory i'll be adding minimum 10 examples so out of that you should solve at least five six examples so that you can have better understanding of transient response analysis i hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video